Okay, so you've downloaded Alion, you've made a character, what next? I'm here to answer that question for you, so let's jump right into it. I'm Narex Bell, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the little bell so that you can get notifications. I go live Monday, Wednesday and Saturdays, usually around 7pm Australian Eastern Time, so come check me out. So you're here today because you've either just downloaded the game or you're thinking about it. You're changing from another game and you want to know what the big deal is with Alion. Well, I'm happy to help you out with all of that and let's go over the first day of Alion. One thing I'm not going to go over today is how to make your character. You guys can work all of that out. I know you're smart enough and it's heaps of fun. All yours. Now, in your first day, it's going to be a pretty quick progression up to about level 30, easy, 35 if you put a bit more time into it. So it'll be somewhere in between four to six hours and you may be at 35. So you're going to emerge from a pod like you're being born into the game. Now, I'm not sure if it's clone or some kind of made thing that we are like the orcs from Lord of the Rings. But we're it. A very short intro will happen and then you're off to kill a few things, mobs, teaching you the mechanics of how to move and, and, and whatnot in the game. Now, you'll head through, dodge a couple of things, and now you're off to kill the first crabby boss. Um, pretty simple fight, straightforward, just DPS him down. If you die here, uninstall the game, guys. Um, <laughs> just joking. <laughs> Learn another mechanic, which is, of course, climbing. Now, once you do this, you'll off to rescue a couple of guys, kill a couple more things, and then, bam, you're on to the next boss. You'll find a black portal that'll come open. When it does, walk on through, bam, you're into the actual starter area. Now, you'll still probably be about level four or five by this stage. As I said, progression's really quick for the early part of the game. Now, once you're in here, you get your, your first set of actual gears. Now, these are just going to be common gears not the best in the world they're not going to have any rune slots and if you want to know about rune slots and stuff there's other videos and i'll be making more to go over them later on so this is your main starter area and keep in mind that while you're in here you only have to do it once per server okay it's basically an intro to the game and once you create that first character go through all the intro of it bam you can create all other characters on that server that start at level 20. so you're going to progress through all this area and by the time you get to the end you'll have a little boss fight use a torrent have a bit of fun get some more gears learn about skills once you kill the boss you'll get well you don't even get to kill the boss i should say it's going to knock you out you're going to pull out some crazy magic and then you teleport it off to a new area now this is where all the characters that i mentioned before will start if you choose to go with that level 20 start point after your first one and this will be the main area that you come into for the whole entire game okay this is the whole world from here out from here you'll get your first set of wings so that you can go gliding it'll tell you how to do that gliding and once you do off you go all right it's a lot of fun to glide there's a lot of key things some dimensional portals will use gliding and just generally getting around it's a lot quicker to glide if you're at a higher location to get down now remember with your gliding it does consume your stamina so make sure that you're not trying to glide too far if not you're going to fall and die okay this starter area is probably one of the most important in the game because it does teach you the basics of the majority of things and it will go over how to use your runes how to equip them even how to upgrade them as you progress through. It's going to be a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot of things going on. There could be a lot of people around you as well. And there's a lot of mobs to kill. And overall, like, it gets a little crazy with your movement, your character, your boards, your things you got to kill, the types of quests and stuff like that. So we're going to cover it all. Don't worry. I'm here to help. Now, you're probably thinking, I'm trying to hold information back. I am. It is a little overwhelming some of the things within this game, so I'm trying to condense it down as much as possible for you guys, okay? So in Alion, we have three main types of quests. 
The first type is your yellow quest, okay? This is your main story quest. This will continue all the way through the game, but as you progress through after kind of, uh, I guess, level 25, it may not get you the whole entire lot of your level, okay? It is not designed to get you the whole entire lot of your level. What it is designed to do is introduce you to new areas, introduce you to new skills and systems within the game. Now you've got your green quest. Green quests are pretty darn important. Overall, what happens with your green quests is usually they are the first quest that you'll get in a new area, okay? These will introduce you to the area and also gives you some pretty good rewards. As you grow up above level 35, you'll find that you may get some new epic armors from these as you progress through, okay? Then we've got our blue quests. Blue quests are your dailies. Your dailies are able to be done up to 20 times per day. Well, I should actually clarify that a little bit further. You get 20 quest letters per day. At server reset every day, those quest letters come back to you if you've used them. Now, the other thing to mention here is that with the quest letters, some quests cost one, two, or three quest letters. Once you pick it up, it is there until you complete it, or if you get rid of it, you will not get your quest letters back. So it's a fail. Make sure that what you're picking up, you can actually do. There is a couple of things at the moment, and I'm referencing only to the moment, that some of the world bosses have been disabled because of lag. So make sure that you're using your quest letters correctly and not stacking up all these world bosses that aren't able to be taken down at the second. With the quests themselves, there is many different forms of them. So there's housing quests, there is monster hunts, there is uh, item enhancement quests as well, and a couple of others, possibly even some fishing ones, um, which go along with your crafting, okay? And that pretty much covers all of our quest styles. And you'll find that as you progress through, your yellow quest won't take you as far as you need, so you will usually find that in that new area that that yellow quest takes you to, you'll have to pick up the green quest to keep continuing. By the time that you start getting your green quest, you're probably getting up above level 25, heading towards level 30. You get into your second or, or third area, generally your third area here, and you will start increasing your skills, changing up your runes, increasing your runes and getting better equipment. And as you progress through, there is some quest stuff that will give you good equipment, but it's only gonna be up to a common or uncommon style equipment kind of at this stage. At level 28, your first dungeon opens, okay? Highly recommend to go hit this up your maximum four times per day to get your rewards, okay? And what you're going to do from here on out is that you're gonna make sure that you hit that up four times a day. With your dungeons, you get four attempts per day to get rewards. If you claim a reward, that's your attempt gone, okay? They once again, like the dailies, reset every day. So keep farming those. In your dungeons is one of the main places where you'll get some pretty good gear. You are able to get breakthrough gear to drop, as well as your normal gear and the weapons. Don't forget those. Yes, you get weapons. A main weapon and a secondary weapon for all classes. Not just tanks, all classes. So basically guys, dungeons are gonna be the best place to get your equipment upgrades currently. So as you're questing along, after you get your first dungeon, the kind of area, you'll also come across your realm versus realm. The first instance that you'll encounter this. Now, you can set yourself up and change your skills over to your PvP skills or keep them as your PvE, up to yourself. That's the beautiful thing about Alion. It is customizable, all right? It's what makes you, you. Now, I'm not going to get into the skill system, the runes, crafting and uh, all the rest of the fun stuff within the game. In your RVR zone, um, there is many different ones as you progress further through into the game. This first one, it is a great place to get items, kill the opposite faction and have a lot of fun, all right? So that is your first introduction to PVP in the game. So keep an eye out, have some fun in there and just enjoy it. 
Now, keep progressing through your quest lines and keep picking up all the random quests that you can possibly find. This will help you explore the map and find other things. Now, one thing that I have forgot to mention, so you've also got the orange quest. These pop up as you're going along. You'll see some random cat, a little dude, something going on. Guess what these are? These are puzzle quests. I personally have a hatred for some of them because I'm not the best at puzzles. Um, but you know, turning black cats white on a random square is just fun, supposedly. That covers basically all the quests and your dungeons and your items. Okay guys, I think that's covered pretty much everything at the moment. We'll dive deeper into further things later on. Most important, remember, have fun. Of course, it's a game, right? So most important, keep picking up those quests as you go on along. Keep doing everything that you can do. If you get stuck, can't find anything, just go grind some mobs for a while. You'll find plenty of drops out there. Now, there's a couple of things that we've got to remember. Best place to get items currently is in dungeons without grinding for mobs. On top of that, have some fun in PvP. Enjoy the game, enjoy the story, enjoy everything about Alion. It is beautiful in there and I hope to see you in the game soon.